Hello, my name is Cerias Escobar. I am a physical therapist assistant student at the Miami-Dade College. Um, today, I'm gonna demonstrate how to perform um, range of motion of right elbow flexion. Um, the uh, normal range uh, based on the AAOS is 150 degrees. First of all, you're gonna place the patient on the testing position or which is in, the, in this case is supine. Then you're gonna move the patient to the available range of motion. Determine the end feel, which is soft, and make a visual estimate, or estimate of, of the range of motion, which in this case is 150 degrees. And then you're gonna return the patient to the starting position and palpate the anatomical landmarks, the fulcrum, is gonna be on the lateral epicondyle. Um, the um, proxima arm is gonna be on the midline, um, on the lateral midline of the humerus. The distal arm is gonna be on the lateral midline of the of the um, radius, with a reference point of the um, um, radial head and the um, radial styloc process. And the reference point for the um, proximal arm is gonna be uh, the center of, of the acromion process, the center of the acromion process. Then you're gonna place the goniometer on the, align the goniometer with the anatomical landmarks. Okay, read and record um, the, the starting, the range of motion of the starting position. Then we're gonna, uh, in this case, it's zero. Then you're gonna remove the um, goniometer and perform the passive range of motion. Then we're going to replace the goniometer replace the goniometer with the um, align with the anatomical landmarks and read and record the um, range of motion of the ending position which is in this case is 150 degrees.